snowed. So you know what I get to go do? Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, it snowed. And it's time to give old Jack Frost a hug. Oh God, ladies and gentlemen, Jack Frost is a cold-hearted motherfucker. His love is frigid. Come to in the fanny verse. In case you guys were wondering, where's the fanny content? You know why isn't why isn't saturated content talking about fanny? Well, we have an example right here why I'm not talking about fatty. And we're going to see pretty quickly why it's been so difficult to talk about fatty. Now, it's fine. It's fine to do these little skits, these little goofs, these little gags. I get it. It's fine. It's better than the forced bullshit that he was doing in the past. I understand that. But let's not pretend like there's a lot, not a lot of meat on this bone that I'm trying to tear off, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to get something out of it. And I'm aware that the documentary came out like a month ago at this point. And my initial intention was to make a longer form video discussing it that may or may not come to fruition. Comment down below if you think that's a good idea, because I'm not sure how I want to go with it. And it's just sort of been sitting dead in the water for a while. So maybe I'll get back to that depending on your guys' response. But today we're going to listen to Fanny become a, a lyrical, miracle, spiritual individual. You know, he's going to go hard in the paint and we're going to we're going to listen to some banger ass tracks, you know, bangerang, bass bow, you know, you know what I'm saying. You're picking up what I'm throwing down. All right, let's get into this shit. <laughs> weeks ago fanny somehow got invited to go to rolling loud and perform lightsaber duels and shout and rant and rave during a filthy performance now i don't know a lot about filthy outside of the fact that he's a rap producer and he kind of was an innovator in the rage type of of rap beats so that's the best i know as to how the fuck fanny got associated with him who the hell knows? Maybe Blaze was promising, hey man, we'll hook you up big time. You know, <laughs> if you're picking up one, throwing down, we'll hook you up big time. And they just let Fanny come on the stage because it looked like in the crowd that the audience was mostly 19 year old boys. I think it was 99% boys and four girls at the front getting thrusted against. I, I'm pretty sure that's the dynamics of what we were witnessing. Most of them probably have no fucking clue who Airsoft Fatty is. And if I was spending $200 on a ticket <laughs> to go to Rolling Loud and listen to my favorite beat producer, and you have Fatty and a midget running out there with lightsabers screaming into the mic that I can't even hear the music half the time, I might be a little bit upset. Just a little bit. There was even a point that... Uh, short round, as I'll call him, uh, decides to go crowd surfing and he gets about three people back and they just drop his ass on the fucking ground. <laughs> they just said, nope. I mean, in fairness, in fairness, who the hell ever wants to lift somebody crowd surfing, but counterpoint, uh, short round only weighs like 40 pounds. All right. He's like a bag of flowers. Just toss him. Keep tossing him back. Come on. You know, the, the dedication of these fans was pretty poor, if I do say so myself. It uh, it wasn't looking very good, and I don't know what Fanny's intention was with this. Like, maybe maybe he's a big fan of Filthy. How, how should I know? Y you know, he tries to avoid using copyrighted music inside of his content, so I don't know. But if he thought that this was legitimately a, a source to broaden his audience... 
Holy fuck. That's a misfire, bud. That's a misfire. All right. A good, good attempt. Good attempt. You know, at least you're, you're leaving your little shack. You know, you're going out and exploring different places. But, uh, I don't, I don't know, buddy. I think the cannon just blew up. You're sinking your ship. The Davy Jones locker is coming to suck your ass. I will now demonstrate to you how it should look. Here, here. Oh, ha, ho, ha. Hey, uh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you go around like a jackass swinging a sword in the air like your some trained samurai in a shitty Bruce Lee film. It's almost like Robert has never walked in his entire life. He's just mumbling and stumbling and grumbling and dumbling all the way back into line. I, I, I don't know why he's shirtless. It, it is a miracle that we're witnessing Fatty be the clothed one in one scenario. I don't think I've ever witnessed this before where somebody else was shirtless and Fanny wasn't shirtless. Now let's get to the bread and butter of this clip. What the fuck is this? It's supposed to be some AI joke, haha, goofy ah type moment. This is fucking horseshit, dude. <laughs> this is, you're scraping the bottomest bottom of the barrel at this point. And, and you're supposed to teach each other how to do a lightsaber duel. That's epic. I really like the fact that I don't know how the fuck this was recorded, but your fucking mouse clicks are showing up as you're clicking to end the, the audio segment. Maybe you're recording yourself into some third party software that would translate it into some other fucking voice. I don't know. I don't know, but I can hear the clicking. All right. It's not a good look, buddy. It's not a good look. I, you know, I, I've had my fair share. I've had my fair share. You know, I, I'm sure you've heard clicking in my videos before, right? But, uh, I, I, uh, I'm a hypocrite at this point. Fuck that. Earlier this week while I was gone, busy filming, I had one good thermos of cocoa left over. And when I came home, what did you tell me? I made more? I drank my cocoa. All of it. Now, motherfucker, do you realize well, how fair, hard- it wasn't entirely just me, Nick helped. Buddy, you're the main problem is you knew better, buddy. You fucking knew better. <laughs> you knew that was my special thing. So now we have the proper dynamics. Robert's back inside of his prison uniform, probably for, uh, you know, that, that very awkward situation that you had with a minor in the past, Robert. You think the trolls have forgotten, but uh, your, your homeboy, Saturated, he hasn't forgotten about that. And uh, Fatty shirtless. It's obviously so cold you can see Blaze's breath every once in a while throughout the clip. And uh, they're, they're ready to get it on. The uh, unfortunate part is, and this was an issue even all the way back to the Full Force documentary. Robert just doesn't understand how to play a character. He just doesn't get it. Because Fanny is obviously joking here. Saying, ah, we're going to fight because you ate or you drank my cocoa. I'm so fucking pissed off. And Robert's initial response is, um, excuse me, excuse me, I wasn't the only one that drank it, fatty, alright? There's other people at fault here, you can't just strictly be blaming me, there's, there's others at fault, actually, and it just kind of ruins the vibe, I know that we're, we're basically, uh, a cabin in the woods style video editing going on here, it's very cool, it's very swag, I very much like it, but, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe do a second take. You know, each of these videos are, what, 15 minutes long, something like that. It's, it's the beginning. I understand if you're eight minutes in and you don't want to redo it, that's cool, that's fine. Who, editing's for the week. But uh, the first, like, five seconds, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's fix that bad boy. Of the world, wait, you've lost this time. You know, I've got to admit, you have gotten better. <sighs> You're damn right. I'm impressed. Big boy. And not to mention, <laughs> the last time we did sparring training, where I was shooting at you with a Nerf shotgun, you managed to redirect one back at me. Exactly. To the point where I was like, shit! <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm your champion. I'll give Fanny some props, alright? I'll give him some props because 
I'm at least appreciative that he's showing personality throughout this. You know, acting like a complete mong the entire time. That's cool. That's epic. Star Wars for the win. Am I right, guys? Fist bump, bro fist. Come on. Smash, smash your computer screen. Break it. Make your mom go buy you a new one. And I, I'm at least grateful that Fanny seems like he's having fun. And I've always said at the end of the day that that's what Fanny should try and do. I kind of think, I kind of think that uh, his channel is doomed and not to get into all the algorithm bullshit that goes behind it, but Fanny hasn't had a over 10k view video since the last time I made a Fanny video. Since the last time when they were making bunk beds and shit. That's the last time that Fanny broke 10k. And YouTube doesn't really like it a whole lot when uh, your audience isn't really watching content, especially when you have a large audience that isn't responding to it. So if it's if it's sending out a notification to even half of his subscribers and you're getting 5k on it, I mean I'm not a mathematician, but we're looking at less than one percent of your audience is tuning in at a time, way less than one percent. So it just <laughs> It's rough because in theory, in theory, there is a direction that some of this content could go to blow up potentially, but I think, I think his channel is just dead on arrival and we're going to see firsthand as to why that is because we're finally reaching the, uh, Cyrax music beat mastering mixtape wrapping up in here. Yeah, so if you can understand a single word that he says there, I don't blame you. You're not alone, all right? This is a safe space. We can all cuddle together and and just try and forget the last 12 seconds that we watched of this clip, all right? It's no big deal. It's knee-high, short round, going hard in the paint. He's rapping. I don't know what the fascination is because this is, this is eerily reminding me of... Uh, J Cream, Jason Genova. Now, if you were never around during the J Cream era, he essentially decided, I'm going to quit doing bodybuilding. I'm going to go be a rapper. I'm going to go be a cookie cutter rapper. And it might have sounded better than this shit. Let's, let's keep it 100 at this point. It might have sounded better than this shit. And, you know, I, I, I'm not upset that Fanny has new characters that are arriving every once in a while in his videos. I mean, I thought Robert would have been gone by now, but I guess he's just living there <laughs> indefinitely. Who knows what the the circumstances? But Nehi, I've seen videos. He's in like a a midget wrestling league. You know, I'm I, psh, go off, King. Go off. If if that's the way. That we're gonna be making that that moolah, that dollar dollar bills, y'all. Then uh, go off, Mr. Nehi. When it starts, you say, "Ooh, shit, that's a Danny GB." All right. <laughs> I'm putting one ear your butt off. Really? That way, I can have to hear. Yeah. Really? As a matter of fact, hand me that again. I want to hit it again. Really, really. Oh shit, that's a Danny. Everybody loves a nice interlude to start your your rap song, and Robert being completely oblivious as to what his surrounding is saying. Ah, we need we need another hit. We need we need the we need to dab up in here because this this rap music. Oh man, if I don't get my fucking weed, it's gonna be trash. This song is gonna suck unless I'm just absolutely bongled out of my mind. You ready for this? Maybe not really, but fuck I it. I know, man. But it's about to go it's crazy. You me ready? ready? I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know no type of defeat. I'm gonna make this real sound. You know, maybe maybe Fanny's not the rapper. Maybe maybe Robert is the one that's gonna really lay down the track and really show us what being a rapist is all about. Show me what you got. Show me like But I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> My name's Buckmaster and I fuck faster. I'm the motherfucker who fucks the motherfucker. Mother so I was wrong on that. Uh, Follow-up question. Did he say I'm Mo Lester so I'm fuck faster? 
Is that what I heard? It's it's hard to understand any of the fucking lyrics that they're saying here, apart from the fact that they don't really enunciate themselves super well. That compounded with them having vocals in the back of them just saying random ass gibberish and the beat being loud as fuck. None of this is mixed properly. It's it's hard to understand. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna choose to believe that he said I'm Mo Lester. That's why I fuck faster. All right, that's my choice. That's who I identify as, and and you can't take that away from me, Mr. Robert, Mr. Robert Pooh. You can't do that. You can't take it away from me, Mr. Mo Lester. I fuck faster. Us about this, the time we supposed to talk. We were brothers. You wanted to fight instead of just talk. I didn't want to fight my best friend, but you did, and that's fucked up. But we ain't gonna talk about that, cause you're my bro. Now what's up? Yeah, you're right. You're definitely family. You stone, stone so much. And what the fam would have the fam would be? The feast. Where's the lighter? The ass whooping the, the feast. Robert has no idea what the fuck is happening <laughs> at this very moment. Just completely zonked out. You can tell that something's chugging in his brain as Fatty's saying all this uh why i didn't like you in the past now allegedly there's been disputes about this whole thing about well why did fanny and robert fall out for that short amount of time why didn't idubs cover it well i mean there's some accusations related to to robert you know some mo lester i fuck faster type of situation type deal going on and maybe i'll cover it in that extended video i talked about in the beginning uh, just let me know down below, but, uh, Robert, man, I, uh, I think your, uh, your, your best course of action is to, uh, stick to your day job of shoveling shit at the cattle ranch. A little bit bloody to bruise. <laughs> I thought your mom's reaction was funny though. I don't really give a shit. We, we, we got back to your place. Your mom saw us bloody and bruised and, and they were like, did you, least, did, did you at least win? We, we were like, well, can't exactly say that, but we got our few hits in. This is the fu <laughs> this is the fucking worst thing I've ever listened to in my entire life. Holy fuck, man! This is the worst music I've ever listened to. Like dead ass. It's so bad. Why is Robert? I mean, Fanny falls victim to this too throughout this beat, throughout this song, whatever you want to call it where he is just saying sentences about things. I'm not saying that can't necessarily be a, a rap, right? But uh, it, it should have some type of flow. You can't just have a random ass beat in the background. You say, yeah, yeah, I went down the street so I could beat my meat. On Thursday, Sally said she'd like to play with me. You know, I, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper, but I'm just saying... I'm just saying you have to you have to be able to formulate a sentence with the flow. All right, you can't you can't be just saying uh, we got beat up by some fourth graders down the street and they wanted to fist me and I said whoa let's go back to Chris's house and smoke some weed. Man, not a rapper, not a rapper. <laughs> Fucking hell. Either way, worst music I or you have probably listened to. This might be worse than Cyrix's music. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.